shape enough to be a good night for baseball from Chavez Ravine. It's the Braves and Dodgers next. Tuesday night baseball here on the show from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Atlanta Braves and the West leading Los Angeles Dodgers. To quote the best in the business, it's time for Dodger baseball. Hi, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with you. Alongside me are Major League veterans Steve Lyons and Eric Karros. And, Steve, let's talk about the two starters that take the baseball here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Atlanta Braves. As skipper Freddy Gonzalez lines his guys up this way. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen. And behind him defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this. Eric Young Jr. makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Center fielder, number four, Eric Young Jr. And he goes after the first pitch and sends this one on the ground to Kendrick at second. And a good throw gets him one gun. Yeah, probably not the ideal at bat from your leadoff hitter here in the first. I'd like him to stretch that count a little, try and work his way on base. Instead, he rolls over on the first pitch and he's gone before you know it. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. First pitch coming. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Eric, you look at your former employers, the Dodgers, as they enter play here tonight. They come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. And they've been as hot as anybody in the league recently. So all they need to do is keep playing the way they've been playing, and you have to say, they stack up with anybody in baseball. The 0 1 pitch is swung on and bounced to Rollins at short. On the first, and Markakis is retired two away. Well, that's how you want to start a ball game. Three pitches, two outs. And he's not even loose yet, but he's almost through the first Freeman. inning. Freeman. Freddie Freeman will stand in now as the National League's leading hitter entering play. Now, here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The next pitch. In the air, down the left field line and deep. And now this will get over the wall, down the line out there for a ground rule double. And you know, we're going to see this happen quite a bit out there. You know, that's not exactly the tallest outfield fence you're ever going to find. So this ball hops right over it for a ground rule double. Here's the left fielder, Johnny Gomes, now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. All of a sudden, you got to be careful now with the cleanup guy up there with a runner in scoring position. He could be in danger of giving up that first run after all. Swing and a line drive to left. 
Crawford is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Danger averted following the two-out double. Bottom of the first, straight ahead, we are scoreless on the show. Now the starting lineup for Don Mattingly's Los Angeles Dodgers. It looks like this. Mike fulton is on the mound here to face these guys. He's got the usual assortment of pitches, but keep an eye on him in the early going here. If these guys can get to him early, he does have a tendency to start overthrowing. And from there, that's when the problems usually arise. Now a quick look at how the Braves will align themselves behind him. And the left-handed hitting Carl Crawford will stand in to start the home half of inning number one. And that's in there for strike one. EK, you take a look at our visitors as they enter play here this evening. They have not been playing their best baseball of late as they've dropped four of their last five. And you know, the little things have been a recurring theme on these telecasts for years now. But when you're in a losing streak like this, no matter how minor it is, it always seems like the little things are going the other team's way. That has certainly been the case these last few games. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Here comes the one two to two balls and two strikes now two two a full count three balls and two strikes we saw this in his last start he just hasn't been able to find that put away pitch with two strikes that you got to have at this one full count pitch on its way. It hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. The 3 2 one more time. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to first is in time for the first out. We showed you his numbers a minute ago. It's still early in the season to be worrying too much, but definitely off to a slow start so he's going to need to string together a few good outings to lower that ERA a little bit. Justin Turner steps in now. Now here's the first pitch. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have 0 and 1. That first pitch is going to be key all night long. If he gets ahead early with the fastball, that's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. Now the pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. One out, nobody on. Ready now on one and one. Fastball called strike. One and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Now the one-two. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. How nice would it be to come out and set the tone for this ball game right away? You take the front part of the order and get him out one, two, three. He's looking for that number three hitter right now. Yasiel Puig will stand in now, and his batting average currently good for seventh in the National League. Here's the 
first offering. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. You got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. The 1 0 pitch. And he watches one miss outside, 2 0 now. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Gets the call on the changeup there, 2 and 1. You'd have to say, so far, so good here for the rookie. Yeah, I mean, he's getting ahead. He's mixing his pitches. You'd like to put up a zero to get that first inning out of the way, and he's close to making that happen. And this is hit well towards the hole. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Well, these guys have not got off to a good start. It's no surprise that their defense has been a big factor Why? Going to need to figure this out soon because this is another play that needs to be made. Adrian Gonzalez get a shot here in the inning after all as that two-out error could really turn out to have some major consequences. Yeah, anytime you give this guy an at-bat, especially with a runner on base that he otherwise wouldn't have had, you're asking for trouble. First pitch to him. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Is that really the spot you want to be messing with here? It shouldn't be. That's a danger zone if you ask me. The 1-1. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Ready with the 2-1. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's 2-2. Two and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Dodgers leave one. We've played an inning. No score. Chris Johnson will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. Johnson. First pitch coming. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Close pitch. Maybe just off the plate, but if it was, it wasn't by more than half an inch or so. The 1-0. out of play. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here comes a 1-2. Hit high and deep out to left field. Retreating is Crawford, but this is off the wall. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Oh, man, he got a pitch right there that he liked. And he hit a rocket right over the left fielder's head. No shot at this one. And this is going to hit right off the wall out there in left field. And he just cruises into second with a loud double. A.J. Pierzynski will stand in now with a good chance to break the seal here following the leadoff double. Well, it's a good RBI opportunity, but you've got to remember your first job, which is to at least get that guy over to third base.
First pitch on the way. Fouled back. He's set. Now the pitch. And oh, Pierzynski can't come up with that one. It's 0-2 now. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hack. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. The next 0-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is taken out there by Rollins for the first down. Here's that swing again. This is in show motion. And mm, you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Stepping in now, Alberto Callaspo. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. He'll check in here at 256. Three homers, 13 RBIs. Kayaspo waiting. Here's the 1 0. There's a fastball for a strike, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. No score here as we play inning number two. 1 1 on the way. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now the 1 2 pitch from Kershaw. He swings and pops it high in the air out towards shallow right. And Kendrick squeezes it for out number two. Here's a spot where he's probably looking for something hard again. But instead, they change up on him, get him out in front a little, and all he can do is pop it straight up. Andrelton Simmons will get his first opportunity now. And as you can see, he hasn't been much of a contributor these past 10 or so games, as you see the average there. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Fastball called for strike two. And sometimes if you don't get to a guy like this early, then you're never going to get to him. So you don't want to let this chance pass you by. He's ready. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Puig will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Braves strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Andre Ethier will stand in, back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. First pitch coming. Fastball in there for a called strike. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. The pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Here it comes. And a waste pitch there, one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Here's the one-two. Here now a ball lying towards center field. And that will be the first base hit of the ball game for the Dodgers. And he continues to hit the ball well as that'll push his hitting streak up to seven games now. Howie Kendrick will stand in, currently eighth in the National League in hitting to enter play. Kendrick waiting, now the pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Right, 
Here comes the 1-0. 2-0 now. Two zero on the way. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the 3-1 pitch. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. Might not be a bad time to have a look over to first. Make sure they don't have any ideas of trying to send him to keep out of the double play. The 3-2 pitch. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Yep, single and then a walk to start the inning. But this is exactly how big innings get started. So they're set up now to maybe put up a crooked number here. Yosmani Grandal will stand in, hoping to put together a two or three hit game here. As you see, the numbers have fallen off a bit over these past eight ball games. Here's the first pitch. And he's squaring around here, but he can't connect one strike. And they did have the bun on right there. So now 0-1-1. You wonder if they're going to do it again. Pause. Now the pitch. Now a bun attempt, and it looks like a good one. Throw on to first, so the sacrifice is successful. Might have thought for a split second there that he was going to go out to the lead runner over at third base. But instead, he stops and decides not to risk it and takes that sure out at first. Here's J-Roll, Jimmy Rollins now. Oh, and he takes this one to the opposite field. High and deep to left center. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. So that's all he's hoping to do right here. Just get that thing airborne and get that first run of the game home. He does his job, picks up the RBI. Clayton Kershaw will get a chance to swing away, and he'll have a chance to pad onto his lead if he can deliver something here with two away. First offering on the way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And he's probably a little bit upset with himself for giving up that early run, but he really reached back for something extra right there. A man on third with two down. Come set, now the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. He's set, now the pitch. And this is popped high in the air back behind short. And Simmons will make the play here to retire the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Mike fulton -Evich. We'll turn right around and get us started here. Nine, one, and two to start inning number three. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. And the pitch. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's one and one. Kershaw now on one and one. Inside corner called a strike one and two. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Well, always nice to get the inning started against the pitcher. 
and sets him down easily for the first down on the third. Eric Young Jr. will get a second shot now. He grounded out to start the ball game. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And I'll tell you, being in a two-strike hole is not the spot you want to be in against a guy like this. Now here it comes. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Throw on to Gonzalez, and that's out number two. You know, there's no such thing as a routine grounder with this guy. If you take your time, he's going to be safe. He'll beat it out. So that's a nice job of getting rid of it quickly and getting him at first base. Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. Swing and a liner, but foul. Now here's the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. Now a swing by Markakis, and he launches this one high and deep to right field. Puig has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. The dangerous Carl Crawford will get things started when we return. It's the Dodgers 1 and the Braves nothing. And here is Carl Crawford now. He'll lead things off here in this one contest. Now the first pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One oh. The 1-0 -oh home. Swing and a liner, but this is going to get foul. Look into Pierzynski, the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. The right-hander deals on 1-2. and two. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. A reminder that Dodger baseball continues all season long here on the show. There you get a look at what's coming up over the course of the next seven days. Justin Turner will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. Now the first pitch. Here we go. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. One thing you can say with certainty, he's really tried to take some ownage on that inside part of the plate. It's something that you need to learn as a young pitcher. You've got to have that willingness to work inside, or guys at this level will just lean out over the plate and eat you up. One one pitch on the way. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Here it comes. Two and one. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. Look at this. And he is going to get him at first base. And my goodness, that was a highlight real effort. Oh, and it doesn't look like the manager fully agrees with that out call at first. It appears he may opt to challenge it and have the play reviewed. Yeah, he may, Matt. But I'm sure he's going to wait for word from the guys in the dugout. And as we see it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he indeed was out.
So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. The Dodgers have elected to challenge. All right, we'll take one last look at it here. Now, the question is if there's enough video evidence to change the call to safe. And wow, from that look at it, I think he did beat the throw, and this might be a well used challenge. The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off, and the runner is safe. So the call is overturned. The runner will stay at first base, and they maintain the right to challenge the further plays going forward. Has been overturned, and the batter will save. And now is Yasiel Puig as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. And that misses one and one. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in, but that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. The one one. High and wide, and two balls and a strike. A 2-1 offering. Swing and a miss at a ball tailing out of the zone. Two and two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Sets the 2-2 pitch. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. Three and two. Here it is. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Yeah, that's a tough pitch there. Three and two. It probably would have been ball four, but I'm not sure if I could have laid off that one either. Here's Adrian now. As this is pot foul behind the plate, it's strike one. And before the 0-1 pitch, he'll step out of the box and get his bearings a bit. A runner on first with two away. He's ready now, the pitch. Swing and a liner. But this is foul near the seats. Waits, now the pitch. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. One left for LA, but they lead it one to nothing. With Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskirchen with you as Freddie Freeman settles in to start out the inning for Atlanta. Freeman. First pitch coming. Now this is ball. up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. But there to take it is Adrian. A nice play by Gonzalez, and that's out number one. Boy, and he's come out with a plan against these hitters, and he's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now he's set down. So the base is empty here with one away. And here's the powerful Johnny Gomes. Now here's the first pitch. Big slow breaking ball that drops in for a strike to start him out. It's nothing and one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. 
We'll take a look at this on show track, and that's been an effective location for him so far. He's really been handcuffing these guys inside, and he gets another pop-up out of it. Chris Johnson will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Here's the first offering. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Oh, he just about found the back door with that one. Just maybe an inch or two away. One, two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Up with it is Rollins. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Braves are set down 1-2-3. They're down 1-0. One, Andre Ethier will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Now the pitch. Ball one. Now the 1-1. One, one. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. And you know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. The 1-2. And he'll take strike three called. Make it three straight punch outs now on the mound. One away. Yeah, make it three straight strikeouts for him now. But, but what's impressive is that these aren't just any hitters up there. These are the three, four, and five guys in the lineup. And he went through them like they weren't even there. Howie Kendrick will stand in. He drew base on balls his first time. Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. And this is knocked down on the mound. Now, fortunately, they will get an out here. Yosmani Grandal will dig in. No official at bat yet as he delivered a sacrifice bunt in his first appearance. First pitch coming. I'll ran it in on the fists, nothing and one. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. One run, two hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Johnson is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. But they're on top, one to nothing. A.J. Pierzynski will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. A.J. Pierzynski.
First pitch to him. Fouled back. And now a pitch on the way. And he chases one up the ladder as he hits a high fly ball out to straightaway center. And the leadoff man gone now to start the fifth. Boy, you talk about a guy getting himself in the group. How about ten in a row he's retired now? Just making it look easy. Alberto Cayaspo will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Now here's the pitch. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Kershaw now on one and one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here's the lefties offering on one and two. Swing and a liner. Foul. Now another one, two. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And he will make the play. Two away now. This is a home run swing, and it looked like he thought he had one off the crack of the bat. But this place, not exactly known for being a home run haven, and this ball dies out there on the warning track. In now is Andrelton Simmons. As he'll go after the first pitch and send a ground ball down to third. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. They trail this one one to nothing. So the shortstop Jimmy Rollins will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch on the way. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Here it comes. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And you know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. The 2-1 home to Rollins. And they're going to have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball's lined in the left to base hit. Well, I don't know about you guys, but it's going to take me quite a while to get used to seeing Jimmy Rollins wearing a Dodger uniform. My goodness. He leaves Philadelphia as their all-time hit leader with just over 2,300 hits. And guess what? Chalk up another one for him right there. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. On to first by Johnson, and there's one gone. And that's exactly what you want out of your pitcher. No long at bat. Get in, get it down, and get out of there. And on one pitch, he's able to get the job done. Here's Carl Crawford now. As he swings on the first pitch and lifts a fly ball out to center. Young is there. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Well, he's 0 for 3 now in the ball game. And I think I can tell you why. If you're not a power hitter, you need to hit down on the ball. Try and drive. This guy doesn't have enough muscle to hit home runs consistently. So he's wind up his routine flyouts. Justin Turner will step in, a ground out victim as last time.
First pitch coming. And this will be fouled away. From the stretch. Swung on and rolled softly to third. Knee high, he barehands it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Dodgers leave one. They lead it one to nothing. Mike Fultonevich will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. First offering on the way. Back to work now is Kershaw as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. Nothing in one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. And he looks at a ball, 1-2. and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Now the 1-2 pitch from Kershaw. Now a ground ball toward the hole, and Rollins can't cut it off. It's into left for a base hit. Boy, he's doing it all out there so far. Not only is he pitching a great game, but he gets in on the act offensively as well. Eric Young Jr. will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. And here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. A lot of these guys have come into these at-bats trying to be the aggressor, trying to make something happen. But what has happened is that they've swung and missed themselves into some early holes. And he gets around on the fastball here as this is hit well out toward left field. Oh, and he misses it. Well, the only silver lining here is that the batter doesn't get any further than first base, but boy, that looked like a ball that should have been caught. I don't know what went wrong there. Nick Markakis will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, and it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this will be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. First pitch to him. Now a swing and a fly ball. Crawford will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first down. Well, you know, he had the right idea up there, so at least you know he's thinking. He tried to go the other way with this ball, but he got under it just a little bit, and it's an easy play out there in left field. Freddie Freeman will dig in now. One for two to this point. Now the first pitch. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Now if you're Atlanta, you have 
got to come up with a key hit here. Now that's been missing. One zero. Runs outside, so it goes to two and zero now. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. Trouble spot here, the 2-0. And this is fouled back and out of play. 2-1. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at 2-2. Two two. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. Now Kershaw delivers a 2-2. Got him. Well, he allowed the first two guys to get on in this inning, and that's something you never want to do. But then he bears down, gets the previous guy to fly out, then he comes up with a huge strikeout right here. That's a good job to bounce back just when things were starting to look a little grim. Johnny Gomes will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. First pitch coming. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. 1-0 on the way. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And no shot even for Crawford. It's a foul ball. 1-1 one, one pitch now to Gomes. Fouled straight back. Here comes the 1-2. And he struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We'll come right back with more from Dodger Stadium in just a moment. Yasiel Puig will come forward to lead things off here for the Dodgers with Adrian Gonzalez due to hit next. The pit. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Now for that man right there, only the one run allowed. How discouraging is that when you're pitching your heart out and you're just not getting the support? Well, the good pitchers really don't let it get to them. They know that it cuts both ways. Sometimes you give up five runs and your guys score you eight. You just have to focus on holding up your end of the bargain. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Now here it comes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. If you take a look there at the line from our starter, I mean, basically, he's allowed three singles so far, and that's it. And they haven't been able to mount any real opposition against him so far. Adrian Gonzalez will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And the throw goes right over the head of Freeman at first. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. Well, this was just going to be a tough play one way or the other. As you see him ranging towards the hole just to get to this ball, but then he can't right himself in time to make an accurate throw, and they're going to hit him with an E4. At the plate is Andre Ethier, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. The 1-0. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And he pumps the fastball by him here. 1-2 and two now. Boy, no fear in that location. He just ramped up and threw it right by him. Now the rookie deals on 1-2. and two. 
Hit hard back up the middle. And that's in there. Base hit. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And on the error, a run is going to score. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see it. He was right on that. Here's Howie Kendrick. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. And I think it's fair to say that the Dodgers didn't wait long to find their replacement for D. Gordon at second base. They didn't have to look too far either as Kendrick just heads right up the I-5 freeway and trades in his angel red for Dodger blue. And he's on base here with a solid single. Out of the Braves dugout is their manager, Freddie Gonzalez, on his way to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Wandy Rodriguez will come on and try to get out of this mess here as there are two on with only one away. The lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Looking to bunt here, but he can't connect, and that's the first strike. Yeah, that's just not really good form right there. He's just kind of jabbing at that thing. Two runs, five hits. One error in the ballgame for the Dodgers to this point. He's ready. Now the pitch. Squares around, but he pops this one up. Throw to third, and they get the force for the second out. Throw across to first won't be in time, so he's aboard on the fielder's choice. And you know, if you're going to make this throw, you've got to be totally committed to it. And you're not going to get any direction from any of your infielders. Any hesitation coming out of that crouch, and it's going to be a bases-loaded situation. But he's thinking three from the get-go right here, and he gets his lead runner at third. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone, and that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. Now here's the first pitch. Good downward action there, and it's 0-1. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're going to see that again before this at-bat's over. Next up and hard, right here. Comes set, now the pitch. Another curveball here, but this misses in tight. It's a ball and a strike. Two men are on with two men out. Look into Pierzynski, the 1-1. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Big pitch here, one and two. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. The throw to the plate. Oh, and the throw by Marquecas is a beauty. He is out at home plate. Only one in the inning here for the guys in blue. Seventh inning coming up. Dodgers out in front, two to nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. The men in blue leading in this one as we get set to begin the seventh. But before we do, let's check out the game summary to this point. Chris Johnson will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Chris Johnson. Now the first pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Pitch on the way. 
That's toward the gap in right center, and he may get himself extra bases here to start the inning. On his way to second is Johnson. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. And that's a big double right there, down by two. But more importantly, that's going to get the tying run to the plate. So we're going to see how they want to handle this defensively now with the open base. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And in steps their catcher, A.J. Pierzynski. Now here's the first pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Has a look, now the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here's Kershaw's 0-2 offering. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Crawford has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. And all through this winning streak of theirs, we've seen some great starting pitching. And this has been another very good performance. Good enough to most likely keep that winning streak going. Alberto Callaspo will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Here's the first offering. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. He's set. Now the pitch. Here's a hard-hit ball back up the middle. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Andrelton Simmons will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. First pitch coming. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. Scoring is the runner from third, and that'll cut the lead down to one. Well, the offense for these guys has kind of been like you, Steve, all year long. Been on vacation. They didn't get much going yesterday at all. They've been shut down pretty well in this one, too. But finally, a little hope. They're on the board here with the RBI single. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Slow curveball at 74 in for a strike. That's one of his best pitches tonight. From the belt, the pitch. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Rollins. Well, they get the force here in second, but that's going to be it. And that means the tying run got just a little bit closer now as he's all the way up to third. Eric Young Jr. will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he can make up for all of that with a base hit right here.
first pitch to him. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. You gotta say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And they roll the dice with the squeeze, and he gets it down. And he'll be thrown out at first. So that didn't go quite according to plan. And with it, the inning is over. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one. Bottom of the seventh inning upcoming in L.A. Get up and stretch. The Dodgers lead it two to one. Luis Avilan will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Luis Avila. Clayton Kershaw will buy himself another at bat and in turn he'll get himself a nice little ovation for the work he's turned in on the mound so far. Uh, he's been great. This is an appreciative crowd. They like what they've seen and I don't blame them. Some activity out in the bullpen now as a couple of left-handers begin to stir. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. Oh, a lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Boy, he sure can sling that thing, can't he? He sure can. A very wide arm angle comes from the first base side. It's not straight either. It's moving. And the pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Now the one, two. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. On to first by Johnson, and there's one gone. Um, this is a big inning here. You're down only one with the heart of the order coming up next time you get in, so that's a good first step. Carl Crawford will stand in. They've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. First pitch on the way. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball, 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. Now the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Now here's the pitch. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Here's another 0-2. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Here it comes. Pitch in the dirt, swung on and missed for strike three as they'll need to throw to first here. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out and there are two gone now. Boy, that curveball is really moving now. He gets him to swing right over the top of it and then you're going to see the nice work behind the plate to do a little cleanup back there and then get the put out down at first. In now, Justin Turner. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Dodgers down in order. They still lead it two to one. Nick Markakis will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done.
Here's the first offering. First pitch of the oh. inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. Throw will not be in time, so good hustle there is now the possible tying run is aboard to lead things off here. Well, we've seen winning rallies get started with less than this. This is going to be an infield single all the way, and now they're in business with the leadoff man on base to start this inning. Freddie Freeman will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch coming. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. Quick check on that tying run at first. Runner back standing. High set by Kershaw. Now the pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Now a throw over to first. Runners back. Both teams with six hits so far. Here's the 1-1 pick. Swing and a liner. But this will be foul. Throw over to first. Don't want to forget about it. Here comes a 1-2. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at 1-2. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2-1 to one score as we play the eighth. Now we'll step off and fire to the back. But the runner's back easily. Here's another 1-2. Grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. Another 1-2 delivery. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains 1-2. and two. And a bouncing ball, foul. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Here he comes again, 1-2. Now a ball hit back up the middle, Kendrick. On the first, and the rally ends just as quickly as it began. Two away now here in the eighth. And for as quickly as the tying run gets on base, he's taken away here on the double play. Just a big pitch right there, and a very good turn at second base to get them both. Johnny Gomes will stand in for the fourth time now, still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. And here's the first pitch. Oh, this ball's laced, and it's going to get down into the right center field gap. Around first on his way to second now. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Man, I'll tell you, you, talk about veteran leadership and showing youngsters how to approach each and every at-bat at the major league level. Well, just show them the tape of this swing. If he tries to pull this pitch, it's either a four-hopper or an easy fly ball. Instead, he knows just to basically throw his hands at this thing, and he's able to drive it the other way for a double. Chris Johnson. He's at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. That's 12 doubles now on the campaign. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. One left for Atlanta. They still trail it here 2-1. to one. Yasiel Puig will come forward to lead things off here for the Dodgers with Adrian Gonzalez due to hit next. Now, 
Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. First offering on the way. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. The pitch. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Boy, sure taking his sweet time down there at the plate. He'll step out yet again. Here comes the 1-1. Now a ball hit high and deep, carrying towards the corner. And Markakis won't get there. It's a foul ball. Here's the one, two. And here's the ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. And now here's the third time he stepped out. Talk about breaking up a guy's rhythm. Now another one, two. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three putout for route number one. Adrian Gonzalez will be the batter. He reached on an error and later scored his last time. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around first, Gonzalez on his way to second now. And he'll pull in there with a one-out double. Well, these guys know the deal from the offensive standpoint. They've got to add on to give their bullpen just a little more breathing room. And this is a good start as he jumps all over this one and drives it for two bases. Plate is Andre Ethier. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. He's ready now. The pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hand. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. Johnson is over, and he tucks it away for the second out. Well, they might have been looking for the outside part of the plate there, but this one comes right back over the middle, so I mean, he's lucky to get out of this with just a pop-up. Here's Howie Kendrick as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for L.A. as they're unable to add to their 2-1 to -one lead. A.J. Pierzynski will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. A.J. Pierzynski. First pitch coming. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a full strike. Now here it comes. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. And now a pitch on the way. 
And here's his slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first down of the inning. That slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt. As you take a look there, what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Alberto Callaspo will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. And the pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Callaspo waiting. Here's the 1-0. In tight again, and it's to 2-0 now. Now he's going to get a visit from his catcher just to make sure he's all right. But this might actually be more of a stall tactic here. I mean, his pitch count, it's starting to get up there. So this might just be to buy a little time for that bullpen. The 2-0 on the way. I'm no pitching coach, but it doesn't look like he's finishing his pitches here. That misses high, ball three. Pitching him pretty careful here, wouldn't you say? Well, it's possible to be too careful. I mean, this is not a silver slugger award winner up there. You want this guy to hit the ball and put it in play. Kenley Jansen is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Alberto Callaspo will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Hits are even at seven apiece. 3-0 is on the way. And, oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. The 3-1 is on the way. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full, three and two. And if he can come in here and start putting that pitch in that location, ain't nobody going to touch him. Here's the full count offering. Now a ball sliced hard on the ground, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Here's the three-two pitch. Oh, and he rips this one to first. But good hands over there at first, and that becomes out number two. Yeah, that would have been nice to get that tying run on base, and this ball's definitely hit hard enough. It's just right at his man. In now is Andrelton Simmons. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. And he'll squeeze this one for the final out, and the Dodgers. They get six straight victories now as this one is over. Well, here we go. Tack another one onto that winning streak. They've now got it up to soul. And that's not looking like this hot spell is going to end anytime soon. one definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score and guys we were treated to an excellent pitching performance in this one by the gentleman you see right here Clayton Kershaw can't ask for much more. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, they tried to let him finish off the complete game, but he wound up needing a little help to get the final two out. 
still, eight and a third quality innings. You'll take that every time. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Dodgers win it 2-1. to one. Good night from Los Angeles. Dodgers. Two runs, seven hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For Atlanta, one run, seven hits, two errors. They left seven men on base. The winning pitcher is Clayton Kershaw. His record is now six and two. Bus routes 2, 3, and 4 is available at the corner of Sunset Boulevard and Elysian Park Avenue. Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Welcome baseball fans to our Wednesday edition of Inside the Show. Let's jump right into Tuesday's action. Starting out in the NL West, the Braves paid visit to the City of Angels to take on the Dodgers, and it was the Dodgers who came out on top. The score was 2-1. to one. Clayton Kershaw pitched into the ninth inning and collected the win on the mound. He only allowed one earned run. He is currently in the top five in the NL in wins. The San Diego Padres did interleague battle with the Angels in Orange County, and it was the Angels who came out on top, 9 to nothing. Garrett Richards earned the victory on the hill, tossing a complete game gem. The Colorado Rockies did battle against the Reds at Great American Ballpark, and the Rockies nabbed the extra innings win. The final was 8 to 7. Michael McHenry turned in a nice performance offensively with three base hits. 
The San Francisco Giants did battle with the Brewers in Milwaukee, and the Giants came away with the win, the final 6-4. Gregor Blanco was hot at the plate collecting three hits in the game. The Arizona Diamondbacks took on the Cardinals at Busch Stadium, and it was the Cardinals who collected the W, the 